Hello children, it's good to be back. Hope you had a restful holiday. I know I did. This is our social studies lesson for this week. It is a revision on my origin. Now let's do a flashback. While on holiday, did you remember to link some topics learned at school with real life situation? Such as transportation. I'm sure Mr. Abu traveled on an aircraft or aeroplane, which is by air, a mode of transportation. You also rode in cars, which is by land, another mode. And if you went on a boat cruise, that is the mode of transportation by water. Do you also remember communication in the past and present? Some past forms of communication include fire signals, carrier pigeons, gong, talking drums, while in the present we have telephone, fax, electronic mail, internet, newspapers, billboards, posters, and so much more. We did media, which are of two types, the print and electronic media. Buying and selling. Buying is where we obtain goods or services in exchange for money, while selling is the giving out of goods and services on receiving payment. In the olden days, we did trade by butter, then we moved on to cowries, and now we use money. We also talked about modes of worship, which are basically three types. Christianity, Islam, and traditional worshippers. Now, I would like you to observe this picture. What do you see? Who are those people? Where do you think they come from? What type of attire do they have on? How do they look? Right, they are house ladies from the northern part of Nigeria. They are wearing Ankara with matching scarves, nose rings with lali on their hands. They look pretty, right? Now, do you know where you come from? Do you have any idea where you come from? In Nigeria, there are many tribes, 370 and still counting. However, the three major tribes are Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. The Igbos. They are found mostly in the eastern part of Nigeria. The men wear isiagu and wrapper, and the women wear blouse and wrapper, usually called church. Some special Igbo delicacies include abacha, apple, and egusi with bitter leaf soup. They celebrate the harvest of the new year with the new yam festival. The Yorubas can be found mainly in the western part of Nigeria. The men wear adbada buba and shokoto with filler, while the women wear buba, iro, ikbele, and gele, which is the headgear. Some special delicacies include amala with begiri and ewedu soup. A major festival in the Yoruba land is the Eyo festival. The houses can be found mainly in the northern part of Nigeria. The men wear Babarigan Gandora, while the women wear Abaya, which is a colorful wrapper with matching blouse. Some of the house delicacies include Tuo Shinkafa with Mia Kuka. A popular festival in Hausa land is the Agungu Fishing Festival, 
where the winner is determined by the size of fish cut. What have we learned in this lesson? We have learned about three major ethnic groups in Nigeria. Do you still remember them? Good! Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. Now, I would like you to find out about your own tribe. Find out where you're from, that is, your village, and your state. The language you speak, whether it's Efik, Igbo, how you greet people in your language. If you need any help, you can ask any of your family members to help you out. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. See you next time. Bye.